Fall Guys has had a huge success recently with its variety of different game modes and hilarious moments. Never has it been so fun to get eliminated. However, I uncovered some shocking truths about the game. My curiosity started when I noticed the Fall Guys were extremely happy after having been eliminated, which seems strange, especially after being dropped from some height onto what is usually a wooden peg in a blinker machine. The concept of Battle Royale isn't a new one. One survivor, no escape. That's the fairly original style. But Four Guys is different, right? You win, you play again. You lose, you play again. No consequences. But I started to notice strange things after playing, like this extra finger on my character. This guy has a whole extra foot. And this guy is clearly not the same character. He has a horn on his head. So what does happen when you get eliminated? What we see is this giant Plinko machine where you drop from a great height and you fall into what? Every Plinko machine that I've ever seen has something at the bottom. A ball or a token is dropped from the top and it hits wooden pegs on the way down which knocks it to the left or the right until it ends up in one of the possible slots at the bottom. The different slots usually come with some reward or punishment. So what does happen when these guys fall? What are they falling into? Being against the server owl, I was going to need help if I was ever going to figure this out. So I took to Google and searched for some dodgy hackers, as it's the best place to find hackers. I misspelled dodgy though, and ended up enlisting the help of five canine friends, all headed up by a man or a dog that referred to himself as the boss, who assured me that they could get the job done. I was unsure whether this was legit, but they did ask for payment of dog treats and dog toys, so I was optimistic. So the hack began, and god damn it, they did it. And this is what they found. At the bottom of the Plinko machine are three different slots. You either recycled to an eight chance of freedom, or you fall to your death. That's why this guy's so happy. He's either free, or he got recycled, so he's got another chance to win. That's why all of them seem so excited and eager to win, because it's literally life or death for them. But this creates a problem, right? Two million copies sold alone on Steam. And that's a lot of people playing. And that's why apparently the server's gone down. But is that the real reason? Remember that planet Camino where all the clones were made in Star Wars? Well, look who I found. Strolling along, best of friends with this guy. These guys are so chummy, this guy thinks it's okay for him to grope him. Three legs. I know what's happening, the servers went down, they ran out of four guys, they had to speed up the cloning process, and that's where these mutations are happening. So what can you guys do to help? Well, the obvious solution is to stop playing. But there is a 2 in 8 chance that these guys will survive, and there's a pretty much guaranteed chance that they'll survive if you can become the winner. Look at this guy, crown on his head, the whole world ahead of him, he can do whatever he wants now, because... Oh, it's like one of those Battle Royale games where you qualify and they still kill you. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to... Uh, uh, screw it. Let's just play it anyway. <laughs>